Oh, I definitely learned that it's a lot faster than high school. So I had, I wasn't quite ready for that when I first came in, but now that I've been here for a little bit longer. I've adjusted to it more. And then just in terms of the competition, I guess, how's that kind of going and what can you bring to that position? It's definitely a complete open competition right now. We're rotating the snappers through. Everybody's snapping to each punter, to each holder and kicker. So it's a completely open uh, competition right now. And we're just trying to work it out, see who's going to end up starting. And then with Milk leaving, I guess, who's kind of stepped into some leadership roles in that room? I feel like, so Milk had a very, like, he had a huge leadership role in the entire specialist group, and it's really hard to fill in a role like that immediately. So right now we're still having people kind of filling in the gaps uh, that he left behind. How much do you learn from studying from a guy like that who's obviously was the long step for quite a while here? So he came in, walk on, just like all of us, and then he fought for his job, and that's just kind of taught us all like a resilience. doesn't matter if you have a bad day, come back the next day and prove that you're going to be the guy. What's the, um, obviously we know the importance, but I guess how much is that emphasized from the rest of the team on how important your position is to uh, just be consistent? Sorry, could you repeat that? Just how important it is to be consistent out there. How, how much do the other team, does the rest of the team, the defensive offensive side, kind of emphasize that part of the game? So I think, yeah, being consistent is definitely one of the most important things for us. It helps us get the off time off as fast as possible. Helps the kickers make more kicks if we're consistent in the long snapping position. Just everything goes smoother.